Hi everyone, Joe from jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another uh, blaster break, another full case blaster break of 2020 Panini Mosaic Football. This is pick your team number six. There it is right there. Now, of course, if you buy at least two teams, you'll get an entry for the Bengals, right? Two, two teams, one entry, four teams, two entries, so on and so forth. So once again, there's the list right there. Big thanks to everybody who got into the action. Now let's see who bought multiple teams. Aaron bought two teams. That's an entry. Bill bought two teams. That's an entry. Brian bought two teams. That's an entry. Dan bought two teams. That's an entry. David, two, one entry. Glenn, two teams, one entry. Jake, two teams, one entry. Mark, two teams, one entry. Nick, two teams, one entry. Ricky with six teams. That's three entries. Sarah with two teams, that's an entry. And Sean with three teams, two count, that's one entry. But that third team probably blocks someone from getting into this promo here. All right, so there's a total of 14 on this list, 14 items on this list. And let's roll it, let's randomize it. Name on top after six. Name on top after six gets the bangles. One, two, three, four, Five and six and final time, Ricky Holbert. There you go. After six times, Ricky, you have you had the odds on that too. Yeah, you had three entries right there. You have the Bengals. Now let's sort this by column B once again by team. And uh, let's see how the Bengals work out for Ricky, and let's see how this break works out for everybody. Thanks, folks. There's a few smattering of autographs in, in a blaster case. And of course, the Genesis parallels are something fun that we're always looking forward to. So, should be good. There's the case right there. Dropping boxes all over the place. So that, that makes 20. Here's four right here. Good luck, everybody. There's the final printout right here. Break six on the 6th of October. A little playoff baseball action in the background. Astros leading the A's 5-2. In Dodger Stadium, it's such a trip seeing two AL teams playing a playoff game in, in an NL ballpark. Ricky, yeah, and Ricky, Ricky also bought the Dolphins straight up, so he's looking for a big Tua or a Burrow, maybe both. This is a fresh full case, so all things are possible here. So what are the football news is happening here?
Steelers can host 5,500 fans on Sunday versus the Eagles. The Bucks play, placing tight end OJ Howard. Ooh, the Achilles on the IR. That's not good. So maybe more Gronk opportunities, perhaps. Is Cameron Brake still on that team? Oliver saying, "Uh oh, Steelers are gonna are gonna beat the Jaspie Eagles this weekend." I know. The Eagles showed some signs of life. Good news for the Titans. Looks like it looks like they're returning some negative tests. Looks like they're uh, they're getting their way back to health. Good. Hopefully they've learned their lesson. Whoever it was, <laughs> spreading whatever whatever they were doing. Hey Rex, what's going on? Bucks running back Barner, Kenyon Barner, suspended four games for PEDs. Packers rookie De Guara done for the season. Knee did his knee. Finns to stick with Fitzpatrick over Tua for Week Five. Just just get Tua in there. I think the article on ESPN says that. The, the, the coaching staff are worried about bringing him in too early. They want to they wanna be overly cautious with that hip for Tua. Cam, situa Cam Noon situation, day to day. They did not look good with, with, with Hoyer. Although Stidham did all right. He looked good at times. What's up, Daniel? Yeah, big game tonight. Got, got Lakers Heat. It's going to be a big game. And uh, my Dodgers are on, too. There'll be a lot of channel flipping for me. Now there's Stidham right there. Remember, veteran commons don't ship, but obviously all rookies will ship, and I'll sleeve rookie parallels here. Uh, KJ Hamler goes to Denver. That'll be for Ricky. Obviously, all of these rookies are going to ship. Inserts will ship. Nice T. Higgins mosaic for the Bengals. That'll be for Ricky. Arash says, what, there's no point in Dolphin trying to win this year? Yeah, that's true. Why, why, why put Tua out there unnecessarily? Let him marinate for the season. I think Mahomes only played like, like a Week 17 game, right? Before he started the full season, so it could be an interesting formula to follow. There's Van Jefferson. Green for the Rams. That'll be for Mark. Yeah, I guess I, I, I guess I just want to see him play just out of selfishness for the hobby, you know what I mean? I want to see him in action. There's NFL debut CD Lane Green for Ricky. But yeah, let that hip really heal, Arash is saying. Anthony McFarlane, rookie scripts. Steelers, that'll be for Sarah. I mean, maybe, what, Tua can't, he's been active. Every week, you can't maybe slip him in there for a trick play or something like that. Nice Justin Herbert rookie, base rookie for Sean Maddock and the Chargers. There's NFL debut green of Justin Herbert. Another one for Sean Maddock and the Bolts.
green Eli Manning. Aaron Rodgers playing like an MVP. He's been looking pretty good. NFL debut Justin Herbert. Got game Tom Brady insert parallel. Michael Pittman Jr. Green. And Justin Herbert NFL debut silver. Nice parallel there for uh, for Sean Maddock and the Chargers. Confirmed is saying Herbert is going to be a stud. He had us worried on Sunday. No, I think I, he looks like he's going to be really good. Dan has the Buccaneers, by the way. He'll get that uh, that Tom Brady, and there's that base parallel NFL debut, Justin Herbert. All right, another four boxes here. ESPN writer Barnwell is saying that the timing was a little weird for for Bill O'Brien's firing. I think I, I glanced at the article this morning. I think he was saying essentially that this was probably a rough part of the Texans schedule. Maybe things could have been solved in the upcoming easier part of the schedule for the Texans, but maybe they were going to move them along anyway. That's, what I, that's the feeling I personally get. He was on thin ice anyway, so I was like, no reason to wait. Bill O'Brien won the next four games. Would that make a difference on how we feel about Bill O'Brien? Probably not. Hey, Sergeant Squid, I... Pr I personally want Tua to play. I want it set to be hashtag good for the hobby. Yeah, I mean, the they showed off the stadium on Monday Night Football against the Saints. The Raiders won, and they had a couple road games, and they came back and played that game in Buffalo. I think that was their first sort of afternoon game looks looks amazing it's a bummer that I mean if this was a non-pandemic year like I would have been in Vegas my sister lives there it'd be good to, I mean I wouldn't even have to stay in a hotel I wouldn't even it's not like it's like a big party trip I would just go hang out with my sister probably take her to the game or something like that or watch at a bar or something near the stadium it would have been a lot of fun take a lap around the stadium walk around it and check it out but no, but no, stupid pandemic got in the way. So that's a, that's 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 a bummer. I don't think last the city of Las Vegas, that county, or even the state are interested in having fans in the stands at the moment. Yeah, that's what they said. I mean, subject to change, right? Like if miraculously a vaccine ends up tomorrow and is and is distributed to, to all Americans like within the week yeah I'll bet we'll have fans in the stands pretty quickly after that but but no short of, short of that miracle um, short of that miracle yeah I don't think it's gonna I don't think there's gonna be if they, they may do depending on how COVID cases like and I actually don't know what what they're like in Las Vegas but, but there is a lot of you know tourism and traveling so I think that's where the concern is there but yeah, so I mean, depending on how cases look and how things are progressing, you know, they may think about like partial capacity. I could see them bringing and allowing like, you know, family, players, family, go to the game. I could see that. Oh, Sergeant Squid, you're saying like in Vegas, you're, you're going to say 25% capacity soon? That'd be nice. 
Although Mark Davis, I think the owner has said, the o the owner has said, uh, said he doesn't really want to see the stadium open like that. You know, like with that partial capacity. He say I think he's willing to eat the the losses of the of the season and. Um, to eat the losses of the season and just see it at full capacity next year to you know, display the full glory of the stadium. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously still a fluid situation to how people want to, yeah, Chiefs are already, but that's like a city thing. I think the city has allowed the Chiefs to do that. It's not, not, up, to the, not up to the teams, unfortunately. There's Justin Herbert Green. We got Nick on the Nick Cam ripping open some boxes for us. Jay Her does he have a nickname? Justin Herbert? Jay Herb? 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 Is Sean Jaspi in the next room? Yeah. Does he have, does Justin Herbert have a nickname? He's a Chargers guy. Uh, I, no, I no. Know, I don't know if there's enough Chargers fans to give them. <laughs> to give him a nickname? I mean, Sean can't even think of one. No, I've heard That's, of, uh, that's when you know you're lame. Yeah. You can't even give your star quarterback a nickname. Jay Herb? J.H. Herbie? Herbo? I've heard Tom Brady 2.0. Whoa, Tom Brady 2.0 is not a nickname. That's what I've heard. Come on. That's, a, that's ambitious. There's an NFL debut base to Otago Viola for Ricky Holbert and the Dolphins. Guy. Is he talking boxes? Is he just talking box shop <laughs> with your dad? I feel like they're, they're, they're talking supplies here. And an NFL debut mosaic parallel to a tag of Viola. There you go, Ricky. All of these add up. And maybe we're building some, some momentum there. Ricky. Okay. Spit droplets into our studio. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, I don't know. Someone was saying they really like Josh Allen's game. Yeah, he looked really good against. That porous Raiders defense. That's a that's a uh, Genesis right here, and it's NFL debut. Justin Jefferson, nice, a rookie Genesis. This is the first rookie Genesis that I've seen. And that goes to uh, Ricky Holbert and the Minnesota Vikings. Nice. He's got some great upside. I feel like every week he's getting better and better. Getting more, a little more targets here. Showing up a lot, of, a lot more fantasy football waiver pickups. Waiver pickup articles. DK Metcalf Silver. Baker Mayfield. Heard he has 200 yard games in a row. There you go. Getting better, even better and better. Devontae Parker Green. MVPs Peyton Manning. And we've got a T. Higgins Green rookie. For Ricky and the Bengals. He won the Bengals. And there's Blake Martinez. Autographs are few and far between in these blaster boxes, but there's one right there for Chris Gerard and the Packers. Oh, not Packers? New York Giants? New York Football Giants. Yeah, that's what it says right here. He must have been traded at some, oh, agreed to terms with Giants, it says right there.
and that'll go to Glenn Campbell with the New York Football Giants. NHL draft just started? Actually, that is kind of interesting. Where is the NHL network? Do we have NHL network? Is it on the NHL network? What, where is it? Oh, there it is. On NBCS. I think it's the and one that says 2020. That's the one. That's the one. I, that's the one. I see it. There's a box. There's a box. Who are the Kings going to take, Jason? Who are Draft has started. Who are the Kings taking? They got number two, right? They got number two. Yeah, it's happening. It's happening right now. It's happening this second. I don't know. Rangers are on the clock. Rangers, Five minutes. Rangers are about to pick Alexis Lafreniere. Four, and four and fifty and counting. We are excited, Brad L. The Rangers are picking Alexis. Thanks for reminding us. Lafreniere. Lafreniere. Lef Lef Lef. Uh, Lafreniere. They're picking Alexis Lafreniere. Lafreniere. Hmm. What channel is it on? Uh, NBCSN. Oh, it's number. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Two. Two twenty. Lafiniere. Lafiniere. They're showing him on the camera. They're showing him on the picture. There's J.K. Dobbins Green. For the Ravens, Bill. They're wondering if they're going to get is any that trades. His daughter, or is that his sister or his girlfriend? I'm going sister. I'm going sister. I'm going sister also. Because it looks like they'd be closer together. I feel like, yeah. And you know, kind of look at the mom's face too. Yeah, they They're very similar, yeah. Glasses. Yeah. I think she's embarrassed that her brother's getting all this attention. She's like, oh, my stupid little brother. Uh, Denver, Ricky. With the Broncos, get that Jerry Judy NFL debut green. They're making him. <laughs> they're making this kid sweat. Can the Kings take some of fun? Yeah, like I don't want like a like a defenseman. <laughs> yeah, I want like I want like a center. They're just like there's like here here's like the the hottest goal scoring center. In this draft, Kings, don't do something. Don't do something smart like. I think this is like a Zion without the John Morant draft. Though, where oh. there's a clear <laughs> number one, but then nobody else is very good. What about what about this? Oh, that's our, that's already a player. Yeah, that's not Chiefs, player. Josh Zets, Nathan with the Clyde McKinnon, Edwards Elaire. They can't draft. So they're saying, so this Lafreniere guy is like Miko Ratanian. Darrington Evans goes to Aaron. Sean has watched a lot of. Uh, yeah, you watch a lot of tape. A lot of tape. <laughs> the, uh, tape the tape is good. Sean Jaspi, uh, NHL yeah. draft expert. The CHL. He's watched a lot of tape. <laughs> Sean's like Sean's like the Mel Kiper of hockey. Yeah. Hot, hot stuff. Who's on your big board right now? Who's, yeah. Who's, uh, Who, who's number two? <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. We don't have the best in the biz for nothing, ladies and gentlemen. It was the or nothing. Burn them all. Did Sean just advocate murder? Cole Komet, Bears, Brian Crouch. Lafreniere is the way to pronounce it, says Stephen Craig. Lafreniere. Lafreniere? Lafreniere. Lafreniere? Lafreniere. Lafreniere, like okay. Like Kylo Ren. Yeah, right. Laugh. I know, Rex. I heard about Eddie Van Halen. Sad times. Who's the best team in the NFC? He's probably the one that's in first place, right? Whoa, the Fly Eagles fly. There's Run CMC. I agree with the uh, the the crew, sorry, it's good. No, it's Lafiniere. Lafiniere. They got less than a minute. They're, come on, Jeff Gordon. James Morgan, Jets Green. 
I like when the parallel matches the, uh, oh, the team the colors, Kings. Sarah. I think the Kings are taking Byfield. That's Dustin's brother, right? Buff Bufflin's brother? Bufflin? I don't even know if he had a brother. No, I don't know. I'm just looking at What about Tim? <laughs> oh, yeah, we want a center. What about that Tim Stultzy guy? No, I don't. We want, we want goal scorers. Well, we actually need When's the last scorer? German hockey player? Good. I have no idea. Dirk Nowitzki? I don't know. <laughs> Dirk Nowitzki? <laughs> Drafted hockey, went to the NBA instead. Dude, I don't know who we're going to take. Who are we going to? Who are we taking, Jason? I have no idea, dude. I don't even know the draft's having for this. Dude, are they going to go? I down? just found out Connor McDavid got called yesterday. Connor, come on. Are they going to go down and take maybe like Jake Sanderson? From dude, America? is that another Quinn brother down there, Jack Quinn? <laughs> How many Quins are there? Wait, no. Who's the other Quinn? Oh well, yeah, Brady Quinn. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait. Games. No, there's another Quinn out there. I forgot there's another Quinn brother. Who are the other Quinn? Quinn Hughes? Jack Hughes. That's his first name. Though. No, that's first name. Yeah. I thought there was another Bifuglian or whatever. <laughs> Biflin? Okay. Dustin Bi Bufflin. Bufflin? Bif Bifuglian? Wait, they announced their own picks? That's kind of stupid. So did they get Lafreniere already? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, why'd the camera cut out? Around. It was fine a moment ago. Yeah, def definitely, sister, definitely sister. Right? Yeah, definitely sister. Very, yeah. pla very platonic hug. <laughs> I was asking if it's his sister or girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, I know. Or I definitely sister. Yeah. Oh, my jacket. Wow, he's handing his coat. Wow. Oh, wow. He's going to be a stud, right? I don't yeah, know. he's probably going to be a stud. I don't know, I don't know if Marin would stand for that. She was <laughs> holding your jacket. Yeah, yeah, she's like, I'm not holding your jacket. Where's he from? Canada? Canada, Canada. yeah. That's cool. Sounds good though. Really good. Yeah. You want to be cool. want Canadians. You want Canadians and Americans to both like them. Yeah. So hopefully he does well for hockey yeah. products. No, I don't think I don't think the NFL commissioner is going to shut down the NFL Rex. If anything, he'll he's going to make sure the season happens. He's going to jam it right through. Roger Goodell would be the last commissioner. They're doing pretty well, yeah. I think. The NFL. Yeah, I mean, only one team and a couple other players and other I mean, teams. Only had one game and it started right. week five or four or whatever. I'm surprised we got this far. Miami Dolphins, Ricky Holbert with the base to a Tago Viola. Yeah, he threatened people like you're going to forfeit games, but that doesn't mean he's stopping the season. He's just saying people. The owners would fire him in a second. Yeah, and the owners would fire him in a second if they, if he actually did that. Owners would be so pissed. There's Cam Akers. Jeff Okuda. Another green in his college gear. Lions, Bill. And a silver Justin Jefferson for Ricky Holbert and the Minnesota Vikings. Thanks to Nick for ripping open all those boxes. Nice one, Ricky. Some Tua's, some Justin Jefferson's. We've got to find some people on a, a quarterback on a cat team would be nice. we got Russ Grimm for Washington. Ricky Holbert. All right, Los Angeles Kings on the clock. This is, this is where I get really get into hockey, folks. This is the year. This is the year. Yeah, most time the public is wrong, Rex. There's Joe Burrow. Base Joe Burrow. Nice. There he is. Cat Team Mojo for Ricky Holbert. Bought a lot of teams, won the Bengals, and now has a Joe Burrow in his pocket. Well, don't put it in your pocket. The proverbial pocket. Green Jalen Ragor. Again, love when the parallel matches the team colors. Nick Casper with that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd, I don't think I'd recognize a king player if he walked into. Jason Jaspi would, but I would not if he walked into the room. I guess maybe due to his size and and build, maybe I would guess that he was a professional athlete of some sort.
Where are the Oliver? Do you know where the where the kings? I'm looking at their uh, their war room right now. Where is their where are their practice facilities? Or where are their headquarters? Jalen Ragor, mosaic parallel for the Fly Eagles fly. Nick Casper. Quentin Byfield is in a... Uh, they're both in like little bow ties. They're looking good. They're feeling themselves there. Is it where the Lakers are? Oliver? Near the Lakers facility. Okay, I got you. That's a nice little. Uh, that's a nice little part of town. NFL debut. Joe Burrow. Another one for Ricky. Yeah, go with that kid. Go with Quinton Byfield, big 6'5 center, Canadian, a goal scorer. Don't go with a German, that's not good for the hobby. There's Clyde Edwards Hilaire. That goes to the Chiefs, that'll be for Josh Zetz. Keyshawn Vaughn, green. Do they have a McDonald's sponsorship? They're all they all have Mick Cafe coffee cups. That McDonald's money. Oh, Rob Blake. Robbie. Quentin Byfield. Woo! No, I'm all right. Thank you, though. There's Justin Jefferson Green. I got, I'm... Jason, we're, we're getting getting jerseys. Get, we're getting Byfield jerseys, Jason. Getting Byfield jerseys. No worries, Ricky. Glad, glad you got him. He's Jamaican descent from his father. Nice. That's cool. There you go. Look at that Kings jersey looks nice on him. 6'5 goal scorer. That's hashtag good for the hobby. You want goal scorers going in the top picks. And Tua Tagoviola, green. And that's Ricky Holbert who got the Dolphins straight up. Yeah, it's true. We got to make sure like Upper Deck gets the uh, he gets the exclusive on him. They're just down the street, down the freeway, down the state. Upper Deck, nice green Tua, Ricky. He bought him straight up, folks. right here ladies and gentlemen good luck thanks for hanging with us thanks for playing with us we really appreciate it thank you thank you thank you more in the store today jazbeescasebreaks.com plenty of breaks another Tua this time NFL debut green parallel for Ricky Holbert when it rains it pours
there was that base, Justin Jefferson there too. Do they just produce hockey players out there? Huh. New Market, Ontario is where they're producing star hockey players. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. What a break. That was uh, Pick Your Team number 6, 2020, Panini Mosaic Football Blaster Edition. We also have No Huddle Edition available, ladies and gentlemen. We just have to do one filler break to unlock that No Huddle Edition. So let's make that happen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for more Mosaic Football. Bye-bye.